Thanks for wandering back out to the Digital Hermitage. I'm the Hermit. You can call me Hiccup. And thanks for coming back to the Modheim series. Guys, last time we went out into the Black Forest and we got ourselves squashed by so many trolls. I don't even know how many trolls. How many trolls were there? Oh, man. Well, one turned into two, literally. And then there were two more. <laughs> That's right. I, I forgot so. about the splitting trolls. And then we fought one that was, like, armored, too. Yeah. Oh, the armored one was something yeah. that was ridiculous so anyway but, but today we're gonna go and try and get some copper uh and then bring it back to smelt together with the tin and hopefully get us some bronze tier gear we definitely need some bronze weapons and armor uh but guys we built up a little fortification check this out um this is something you can build with the build it mod this is these giant look at i'm gonna hop down so you can see how tall they are but look at look how giant and awesome these walls are and because they're the same recipe i think as the other fence, but these have a platform on them that you can stand on. Right. Ah, I'm doing, hang on guys, let me jump back over there. Yeah, so we've got this awesome platform that you can actually just walk on. And it is kind of difficult to build on. We've been having some difficulty building off of it. Uh, it doesn't like to give a lot of support, but you can. Um, if you can add supports underneath um, or connect it with some core wood, it does seem to give a little bit. So eventually I'd like to have some nice little sitting area out here. It'd be pretty cool. Yeah, time, time we threw up a nice bridge across the way. Guys, the base is coming together. We've also got our forge coming together back here. Um, it's just open right now and, and smelting tin, but uh, yeah, it's coming along. It's getting there. It's getting there. I threw up the bridge so that I wouldn't have to get wet when crossing the river, <laughs> and then it decided to rain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just Yeah, the wet status effect will always be around. You'll never be able to always. avoid it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Oh, guys, actually, you know, this armor we've been wearing is fine and all, but I've been meaning to make some better stuff. Um, so guys, let me toss together some some, uh, some troll armor here. Oh, man, that is a full set, and then I think we've actually got plenty to spare. Like, might even be able to upgrade uh, upgrade our stuff a little more. Yeah, the blueberry. There should be plenty left over. I put all of it back in there, so if you wanted to make yourself a, a set, too. Man, I should probably do that because these physical reduction pants... Don't give as much as I'd like. Right, and yeah. We both get like get some yeah. The sneak bonus would be pretty awesome. Yeah, definitely. Man, this brings me back, guys. I remember when I first got my first uh my first armor for the trolls here. Super nice. All right, guys. We got our rested bonus. We got all our food. We got our new armor on. A couple of a couple of troll hunters here going going to work. Uh, sneaky. Super sneaky. Oh. All right. Here we go, looking for copper, wish us luck. Hopefully we don't get uh, slaughtered by a million gray dwarves or trolls or... Oh, man, look at this. Already lightning, lightning gray dwarf. Oh, in the rain, I wonder if it does extra damage. I mean, I would hope so. That makes sense to me. All right, guys. I need me a copper buckler. That's what I'm, that's what I'm aiming for by the end of the day here. Here we go. Copper. Very nice. Right next to this here mount. All right, let the chopping begin. Uh-oh, let the battles begin. My gosh, we just had three great orbs show up, guys. Slamming. Whoa, what just happened? I'm not sure what just happened. <laughs> I wish you could have seen that from my end. All right. Just trying to get underneath it. <laughs> yeah, I do this weird thing. It was where I, I like, almost reveal the whole thing. Like, not quite, you know. But I, the idea that I could like somehow I could eventually miss, um, a piece of it. It always, always bugs me. Right. So I, I start getting under it. No, I get that. How many of you guys do that uh, uh, on your playlist? You guys like to expose? I like to kind of dig as I go. That's just me. But how many of you guys do that in, in your playthroughs? You like to expose all the copper before you start hacking? I was just thinking I really miss my, like, third or fourth tier iron pickaxe. I miss that thing right now. <laughs> also, missing all of my old levels. Because, guys, I reset my character to go through this. Um, couldn't reset all of my recipes. I don't know that that's... Uh, thing that you can do in the commands actually 
but uh, was able to reset all my skills. So the skills went back to zero when we started this series. I'm no longer at like 90 run and 75 wood chopping and, you know, 60 or 70 mining. I'm back down at the beginning of everything. And let me say, I was just going to say, you don't really realize how much that stuff helps until it's gone. It's subtle, but it it's definitely helpful. Um, especially uh, the one I've been noticing the most playing with this character and like having and having all of that gone and, and stuff is uh, the jump, actually. You actually do oh. gain jump height. Like with the jump skill. Oh yeah. So I'm I'm like uh, you, you jump fifty percent higher I think uh, with with like max skill compared to zero it's 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 quite a big it's a big leap. Right. Yeah no it's definitely very noticeable I had to uh, readjust my thinking playing again. <laughs> I just love hearing the schmelter just plop things out all night. Mm hmm. Boom boom boom. Another morning, another day of mining copper. Hey guys, look at all this. Bop, 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 bop. It's a good chunk of copper already. All right, let me drop this copper inside. We've already got some copper smelted up, guys. And then we're going to get out of here and get back to mining. All right, back to it. Uh oh. Hello, gray dwarves. Uh oh. More gray dwarves. Ow! Just throwing rocks. Seriously though, this black forest is not that big. How are there this many gray dwarves? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, there it goes. I have actually never seen it do that. I thought they just floated. Huh, that's crazy. No, the only ones that I've seen float like that are the pillar stones out in the plains, which is very upsetting because that would be a great way to get a lot of stone really fast. Heck yeah, all right guys, we're gonna start trying to move this stuff back. Start trying to smelt up some bronze, and hopefully we can have some bronze gear and get some carrots planted. Yeah, let's uh, let's make a few trips. Hopefully, some uneventful trips. <laughs> All right. So, what does it take to make a forge? We need to get a forge going out here. It is six copper and four coal, some stone, some wood. Heck yeah, I think we've got all that. Ah, yes. I should do it. Here we have our forge. Look at that. Guys, time to start making some stuff. Let's get all our copper and tin together and forge some bronze. All right. I do believe we have 20 bronze. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I, got, I just found it. All right. Let's throw together a cultivator and plant some carrots. Yes, yes. <laughs> what are we adding? What are we adding onto the house today? And Chapumi. Whoa, what is that? Oh, an enchanter. So now so now go up to the uh to your forge. Okay. And it should now have an enchanting oh, tab. Sacrifice, enchant. Interesting. Look at all this. Magic reagent, magic essence, magic dust. Guys. Oh man. 80% chance for like one effect. 18 for two, two percent for three. That's pretty awesome, guys. This is gonna be really cool. And then if you click on um so so right there, uh when you're on that tab, click on rare and then epic and then legendary. Oh yeah. I can take all this. Yeah, scrap stuff. a bunch of that stuff. Yeah, go for it. Scrap it. I'm gonna I'm gonna start planting some carrots real quick. Yeah, we may have to move on, guys. As soon as we can get pretty pretty tough and uh, get some good stuff, and maybe even get a boat. Oh, no, oh, that's what we need to do. We need to get built up, get our copper stuff, and then we need to build uh, our bronze stuff, and then we need to build a raft. Then we can really or a go carve even. Or a carve. No, I mean like. The raft raft. We can build raft oh, rafts. Oh, the raft raft. Yeah, the, of the course. buildable raft. The I mean, buildable raft. They're, they're all buildable, but yeah, yeah, you know. Ah, guys, it's always storming. I'm just out here trying to get some more wood so that we can keep the charcoal flowing and we can keep the copper uh, smelting out. Um, I think we've still got plenty of tin. I, I, I always forget that it takes so little tin to make copper, actually. All right, guys, day 31. We've got a little bit going on here. We've got a little bit of a camp set up, and we've got a bunch of copper smelting, and everything's going good, but it's taking a little while. It's a lot of it's a lot of copper for two people. Um, 
So, uh, guys, just to kill some time, we were going to go fight Ikethier again with our new Blueberry Gear setup and all of our uh, new cool weapons and our classes and whatnot. And uh, apparently, uh, time has been telling me, um, guys, come check this out. So, yeah, we were talking earlier about disenchanting things, and we've got a nice little chest going over here with all this stuff. Look at this. Oh, yeah, magical. And I'm assuming the colors kind of correspond with what kind of, you know, weapon you're going to make. Yeah, we've got the blue for magic, yellow for rare. Um, and apparently you need all sorts of these different kinds of stuff, guys, to make all sorts of different kinds of upgrades. And, and yeah, we can enchant our own weapons and stuff now and make our own kind of things. And they all have random chances to do stuff. So, yeah, we're going to be spending a lot of stuff trying to do that. Look at all this copper. Oh, uh, yeah. And, uh, and also the boss trophies are... Uh, are uh, dismantled, or you can break those down for for pieces and parts too. Yeah, they're the main source of uh, like they're like a much needed source of for the uh, enchanting. Yeah, uh, oh. and you can if you like the Diablo style games, um, you can you can like farm the bosses and they don't give you new gear, but they do give you the their trophies that you can use for runes, and then you can you know you can. It adds it adds that 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 element to the game where this this isn't a Diablo style game, but it adds you know you can turn it into that, or you can just carry on and enchant as you go, enchant with whatever or whatever else you pick up. So, yeah, I feel like enchanting as we go is probably fine, because um, it's gonna take a while to save up a lot of enchanting stuff. Anyway, I don't think we'll be seriously trying to enchant awesome stuff for ourselves until much much later. Yeah, yeah. when we have a ton of stuff, but. Anyway, guys, we're going to run back to uh, the Ikethir summon area. We'll grab what we need to fight him there, and then well, we're going to tag on another boss. Hopefully he's uh, um, just another one star, but I guess there's a chance that he could be uh, stronger with multiple stars and different affixes, so who knows what he's going to be this time. But, uh, yeah, let us get our stuff together, and we'll see you guys out on the battlefield. All right, guys, we made a stop at our uh, original base just around the corner there just to get our rested bonus up, and we're good to go. Time to summon in Ikethir here and see if this fight's going to be any different. I'm, a, I don't, I'm not a ranger this time, so I'm not going to stay up on the on the stand and just shoot arrows. This time we're going to be down here in the thick of it. Wish, yeah. wish uh, us luck. Say when. All right, let's do it. Here we go, guys! Yeah, this actually makes me nervous. Like, we kind of don't know what we're about to face here. Oh, there he is. Holy crap! <laughs> oh my gosh! The Elementalist. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good for your, uh... Oh, the shell? Yeah. I just threw shell up, actually, for us. Oh, that still hurts a good bit. Guys, wow. Three-star Ikethir, we can... Not really. Yeah, we want to watch that. Ooh, we're doing all right though. This is good. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh. Oh man. No, <laughs> not like good. Oh, all right. We're gonna switch to the bow. I do have a bow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that hurt a lot. Great big bad Ike here, man. Look at this. Wow. All right, let's finish it. Let's finish it. Woo. Yeah. Oh, guys, look at that. Look at all the goodies. Well, that was crazy. Almost want to summon Ooh. him again. Uh, yeah, it's weird. You totally can. Totally worth it. A crow mallet. Crow and a hot crow. And a striker's stag breaker of lightning. What? Wait a minute. This says it's throwable. I have to. I have to see this. I have to see this. Is this? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm holding the right one. Yeah. This crow mallet. This is throw. Yeah. <laughs> I am. Oh man. Okay. This is the <laughs> coolest. Oh, just here, have one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's my new favorite thing. Oh, it's whatever face. Bam. <laughs> it really adds to it that it's called the crow mallet. Like it flies at them like a crow. Yes. 
All right, we have another one, though. The Striker's Stag Breaker of Lightning. It's got 11 plus 11% plus light, lightning attack, or no, plus 11% attack speed and plus five lightning damage. That's kind of cool, but I think this is my new favorite thing right here. This is uh, this is quite amazing, actually, being able to throw this. That uh, that changes everything. <laughs> Heck ah, yeah. but that was super exciting. Whoa, you got Featherfall. Featherfall. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's one of the items we just got from beating Ikthyr, the Ikthyr boss. Is that like, are those pants or something? Or Yeah, pants with Featherfall. So I, you know, you you, you slow, slows your fall. You don't take fall damage. Oh, that's actually um, pretty you, cool. Yeah, it adds a new, like these, these pants could be useful. Like, you know, if we don't see Featherfall for a while, you could say hmm, maybe i should bring my blue pants of feather fall uh yeah definitely look at that guys that's awesome <laughs> very nice well, all right everybody i guess i'm gonna go ahead and let that wrap up the episode for today check out our really awesome stag breaker weapons we have a couple of really awesome one now and i can throw mine that's gonna be the new coolest thing ever for the next couple of episodes i'm gonna love using this thing for a while but that was a super exciting episode and a super exciting fight with Ike Deer. I can't believe Ike Deer was three stars. I did not expect that. Go, it can go higher. It can, it can get crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. He felt pretty doable though. Like I feel like we're getting tougher. Uh, I'm really nervous about the Elder though. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a whole another thing. That's gonna be a whole another battle. Oh yeah. But anyway, guys, if you had fun hanging out with us today, do me a favor, smash that like button, and be sure to subscribe if you want to stick around and catch more of our adventures in Modheim. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for sticking around. We'll catch you in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day. Catch you later.